Halloween and I am out Halloween decor hunting as our good friend Jay the Libra always says it's the best time of the year it is summer ween it is the start of spooky season for all of us Halloween hunters I have been out today to several places I've already hit up Michael's I have driven all the way to Little Rock so I could see the at home there I haven't been to it yet I did um, find some Halloween there so that was exciting I'll show you guys here in the video what I found uh, I've been to both home goods in our area and TJ Maxx N nothing not a denied so no Halloween decor there but it's been a fun day an adventurous day I've also been looking for some floral decor um, prop pieces for an event I'm doing next weekend so yeah it's been great and I'm having such a blast how are you guys doing in this heat it is awful that is for dang sure anyway it just lifts my spirits to do Halloween hunting and I hope you guys are having fun I am going to show you guys what I found in just a minute this is my first time at at home in Little Rock Arkansas and I was so pleasantly surprised they were quite stocked I think they're just getting everything out I was looking forward to seeing the Southern Gothic collection that's more my vibe they had a New Orleans style mansion there they had some ghouls that are reminiscent of Cracker Barrels I like the ceramic apothecary jars I'm glad to see these manufacturers are doing more ceramic and glass pieces that's more my vibe I am trying to move away from so much plastic. So I see that they have a lot of cameos, lots of skeleton couples, very memento mori kind of a vibe going on here. Lots of black and white and silver, more, more dark elements. The vibe is a little more dark on this one. I do like it a lot. I'd like to see the rest of the collection though. I like cutesy decor too. So I like to mix in a little cutesy with the more scary pieces. I like the can the melting candle stacks. I was thinking about doing this in our fireplace. Um, there was a Grim Reaper, obviously tombstones. I'm looking for more of that kind of thing for our Halloween this year. I'm trying to incorporate more pieces for key pieces that will look good in our graveyard scene. There's a little Hocus Pocus thrown in. Always a fan favorite large skulls so many big skulls i think the whole oversized um, decor thing is really caught on the last couple of years because of home depot's 12 foot skeleton i think people love it i love the big dragons here they were nice i i was trying to figure out how i was going to incorporate those into our graveyard i might still go back and get them if they're available but i really loved the angel in the back i'll show you that in a minute guys this whole section was red and black and had a definite witchy vibe, kind of poison apple, spooky garden vibe. I didn't catch the name of this collection, but it was very cute. I love these cute little ghosties at the top. Oh my God, these ghosts are charming the pants off me this year. I know they've been trending a lot the last couple of years. I have a ghost theme in my kitchen. Those cats on the pumpkins were cute. Um, so I had to really resist not buying any more ghosts this there year. Of course, pumpkins, some fleece throws. There was a ghost pattern fleece throw that's sort of reminiscent of the one that went viral last year. Every year they come out with cuter and cuter fleece throws and it's so hard to resist them. But I'm trying to be good and I'm not going to overdo it. But I do like the little ghosties, like I said. There's some creepy twisty trees, some more candles. I like that black finish, it's kind of cool. This reminded me of Grandin Road. It was a nice uh, witch on a stack of books. They had spooky garden, I like to call it flair noir. <clears throat> a lot of really pretty pieces. I put this dang house in my cart and carried it around with me in the whole store, but ultimately put it back. I don't need another spooky house and I'm adding to my Lamax collection this year, so I don't have that much room. These are some really cool cauldrons, although I did not like the lights. They weren't working. I don't know what's going on. I think they should have just lit the interior. Had a lot of cauldrons, some cute pillows, more apothecary jars, a little bit smaller. I love you to death. That was cute. More glittery pumpkins, some uh, very witchy, romantic vibes, mirrors. I loved this cup, if it had only been an actual cup, the Kraken was hilarious. I'd like to see that in ceramic. I bet someone's made something like that. I think that it was really cute. I like this poison bottles. They were nice. I like the black and little spider on it. They were elegant. This guy was very cute. I thought he was fun. I might try to make him. Some lady slipper orchids that want to bite your head off. Some poison apples. Some books. 
all the usual things. This was a very pretty pillow. It was a beaded skeleton coffin pillow. If I, if I didn't have so many pillows already, I would have grabbed him for sure. Super cute, very elegant. The problem with those pillows is they don't sit very well though. So it's really a decorative piece. Lots of pumpkins, tons of pumpkins. I really like the classic jack-o'-lantern on the bottom. I think it was $34.95. I'm going to wait and see if they have a sale. I may pick up a couple of those for the front yard. Really like just the clean, classic look of it. Very, very cute. Lots of picks and garlands. They had a cute ghosty garland here. Very sweet. Looks like they were just stocking this area. There was not a whole lot here some tombstones. I really wish these manufacturers would make bigger tombstones. I think Lowe's is killing it this year or the past couple years with their tombstones. I'm going to definitely get one from them this year. Lots of fun, uh, cute decor, classic things. This witch, everybody um, likes this witch and you can do these in your yard and like a circle, like a coven. It's so cool. These metal bats, Really liked these. I like it because they're metal. Again, looking for more long-lasting pieces. And I have a set of these I got, I think, at TJ Maxx last year. I'm going to do something fun. I liked this corn. I don't know. <laughs> it's corn. I thought they were funny. Um, they were raffia. And some plastic cauldrons. These would be great for outdoor, if you're having a party, to put your drinks in. More inexpensive fleeces. I think all of their fleeces were $9.95. Big skeletons, glow-in-the-dark skeletons, large skulls, lots of outdoor mats. This guy was kind of creepy. He's a wall decor skeleton. Definitely spooky vibes there. More on the Southern Gothic pieces here. I had seen this online, put it right in my cart. I really wanted it. I think he's cool. However, I already have small pieces like this. If he were an outdoor statuary piece, I would definitely get him. But he, a lot of things went in my cart. They just kind of rode around with me while I looked at everything, kept me company. <laughs> I like the ravens and the pecking the eyes out. I love these two skull topiaries. When I was in the store, I thought, huh, this would be cool if there were two of them. Totally not seeing that there were two of them, but they'd make a great French porch decor. Did not like the black skulls with the very phallic looking pink mushrooms. Why on a solid black? Like if that had been a natural skull with moss, maybe. This is a very cute gothic style candelabra. Okay, I gotta stop saying so cute. But look at this. This is adorable. See, I didn't say cute there. All of the cutest. I think this is their homespun Halloween collection. A lot of cute ghosts. Um, just a lot of fun pieces here. That was a dupe, I think, for the Pottery Barn Lantern. This collection over here definitely has some more childlike elements, a little more teacher-friendly stuff, lots of cute pumpkins and ghosties. Look at this ghosty stack. I predict these are going to fly off the shelves. They were adorable, and I had to keep myself from adding it to my cart. I mean, my house is haunted enough. I don't need any more friends. Okay, a few more friends maybe, but I have so many and they're not, they're not quiet. All right. I'm obsessed, obsessed <laughs> with all of this area over here. Totally too cutesy for me, but oh my gosh. I loved all of the like plush they had. Look at these monster pillows. I loved these. You could totally do a Snoopy Charlie Brown outdoor decor, paint one of these with bl black spots, spots and call them Big Ben. You could totally do a Snoopy cow, uh, cow, uh, I got so excited, I can't talk. Charlie Brown, look. Look at this so kiddo and a pinch its cheeks. I love it. <laughs> I had him in my cart. I had so many ghosties, and I just, they just rode around with me in the store. It was cute. Oh my gosh. Just a lot of really fun metal bat pieces. I like these. I, I've seen a couple more. This would look great going across a mantle if you did like several across your mantle. Very elegant and simple. I would like that. This was the scariest thing I saw in the whole dang store. I mean, at home. What what were those? These guys I just was charmed by. I love the little ceramic pumpkins. They're so cute. They're very classic Halloween. Um, inexpensive if you just want to pick up a few little decor items. These were great. 
I was kind of obsessed with those, <laughs> but these, more ghosties, look at these babies, oh my goodness, I just want to just check them all, and like, I felt like Linda Belcher with all of her ceramic babies, I just wanted to grab them all up, and put them in my cart, they're like, hi, hi, Shalouine, this was cool, this is a Southern Gothic mirror, although they didn't have one unpacked, so I guess you'd have to go online, I'll see if I can find it and throw it up here. But this was the one thing that I took home. She was $89.99, but she had a little chunk dinged out of her wing. So I asked and I got a 25% discount on her. And that's the only reason that I actually bought her today. I love her. I'm an artist, so I can fix the little ding in the back. It's not noticeable and it was well worth buying for the discount. This one was fiberglass. So a better investment and I will cherish her. I probably will leave her out year round in my garden. So let's head over to Michael's now. So this is the very divisive hippie hollow line, which I was completely prepared to hate. No hate against pink or sparkly. I am freaking loving the whole disco ball element to this. It's very Scooby-Doo meets Partridge family. So I get it. But anyone else feeling like Halloween is jumping the shark a little bit? Like, I get it that these retailers have to come up with something new and exciting every year. But I think that our hunger for Halloween is driving some kind of insane design concepts. I didn't hate everything. I liked these pillows. They were kind of fun. They reminded me of that creepy character. I can't think of his name. He's a ghost that wears those glasses. And then I loved all the flocked stuff. Um, the colorful stuff's not my jam. No hate if that's what you like. Everybody should decorate. The, and, I, and I actually like that they have options here. But like the, 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 the guys sitting on toilets with their cell phone. I mean, are you really putting that in your bathroom? Like, what are you doing with that? There were some cute pieces here. The bright orange is nice. <laughs> I love the vintage flocked pumpkins. Those are super cute. But I'm, I'm just not quite sure how I feel about this whole line. I usually fly solo on these trips, but I brought my daughter and my grandkids and their family. And they ran around as expected. Just so excited to see all the Halloween. They know how much I love Halloween. Michaels has all of their garlands out. I really liked the disco ball garlands. I did a disco ball inside my pool pavilion and I'm thinking about doing um, these streamers around but I, it might be a little bit over the top but a lot of sparkle a lot of tacky which we all love but um, nothing super impressed with right now these are repeats from last year the uh, pillows were cute I really like the bat pillow and this classic pumpkin guy he's cute you got your skeleton in the coffin I like the nubby texture of these pillows Michaels has always some cute ghosty pillows, too. I really like those. Um, spiders, of course. Lots of fun things. I'm a sucker for anything sparkly, blingy, sequins. I do like that look because it can look very elegant if it's done well. So, you know, this is my jam. But I felt a lot of this stuff was kind of redundant and just stuff we've seen every year. <laughs> so, someone being naughty with the disco spiders. Is this Studio 54 or what? Groovy man. <laughs> oh, Austin Powers. There was a lot of disco ball decor, disco ball bats. <laughs> These made me laugh. I like the groovy goals. If you are a boho chick, this would be fun in your Halloween collection. The little houses were cute. I also love these. They had a very 70s, maybe even 60s vintage wooden vibe. Again, the flocking on the pumpkins, that can't, that's that been going for a couple years now. I still like that. It's very vintage-y, and there's a lot of bright colors here. I, this little witch was cute, very charming, little pumpkin guy. Very, very sweet little, little pieces. I do like those. <laughs> I'm easily amused. What can I say? <laughs> Overall, fun, great for summer ween, definitely a summer ween thing, and I think that's really what this collection is supposed to be about for summer. And we were seeing that the shelves were empty. And so I thought, well, I'll come back in a couple of days. And so my husband and I did, we stopped back by and et voila, look at this and the magic of cinema, here we go. All stocked, uh, they have an apothecary vibe, lots of cauldrons, ceramic cauldrons. Again, I love the, the ceramic and glass. These are pieces that, you know, will hold up and look well over time. 
the the high quality resin pieces will too and i and i like those pieces i'm selective on the resin resin's never been my favorite uh so you know i i kind of am picky about resin but i like this little miniatures line these are also all resident resin pieces i i think this goes with the little you remember the haunted house kind of like um shadow cabinets that they had that they never had the pieces for in any of my stores up here in Hot Springs, this store has all of them, so I might find a few pieces for my little haunted house shadow boxes. So my husband actually liked all those. More little haunted houses. Again, I'm a little bit obsessed with the little Mac Spooky Town, and I will show you guys that um, they did have a display set up. I was very excited. So you have a lot of uh, ossuary style decor. I like that. I like the macabre, the, the skulls and stuff. Michael's always has a good selection like that. All the spooky floral. Those are all fun. <laughs> I, you know, I, I was I was happy to see something. Oh, I really like her. She's a planter. And I thought, that's nice. I might get that from my garden. The one above that I actually got last year. I don't think I zoomed in on that, but it's kind of like, um, looks like um, Groot. And there's some an anatomical, so it looks like more anatomical stuff coming. So, <laughs> my husband. This is a good dupe for the, I want to say it's either Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel Metal Lanterns. He really liked that. And I did too. It's cool. Um, all of the normal picks, rees. And then there was a very cute witch hand wreath hanger that my, that's not it, but my husband found and I, of course, snagged that for our witchy cottage. So I only bought a couple of things while we were here on this trip because like I said, my budget is going towards my Lamax Spooky Town houses, houses this year. I like those little um, mushrooms. They were like a purple velvet cat mushroom. Very cute. These are all the bins with all the floral picks and the wreaths. So just starting to get everything out. This is this witch um, wreath holder, rich hand wreath holder that I really liked. Very wicked vibes to it. I, I like this. I actually bought that even though I have a couple of wreath hangers. So I will probably give one of the extra ones I have to my children because I usually give them the pieces that um, whenever I switch things out. So they're always happy to get anything Halloween and they don't always have the same budget. So I like to buy them things too. This was interesting. So a couple of years I got very obsessed with French Rococo style decor. And this is an entire line of French Rococo style pieces that Michaels has done. And it's cute, it's pretty, it's very 1970s powder room vibes. Um, I don't know if you remember, they used to do these little 17th century, look at that poodle, that's so cute. Squirrel, my grandmother had a pink poodle bathroom, but you have some Marie Antoinette figurines. Um, they were, what I was saying is there used to be these little lamps that were like a 17th century man and a woman with a little shade. I have one of those, I actually bought it because I was getting a little obsessed with that look. And I've always kind of been a Francophile, so this whole look is is appealing to me. But I don't like all, you know, it's funny. I love the tackiness of Halloween, but all of this decor to me is just, it comes across tacky. So you have to find like one or two of the pieces that that work. But I thought it was a cute line and sort of refreshing and different. I'm not used to seeing this this vibe at Michael's. So here's the one Max Spooky Town. Very cool. That's cool. I like this one. Michelle, look at this. Yeah, you want to hear this song? Michelle, look at this. So, this is like... Cool. You want to hear this song? Feel it, song. I like it. Bowser, cute. Oh, wait, wait, you're too excited. You gotta see everything. I'm, I'm looking, but just give me a minute. I like the, I like the Fright Night Cinema. That one is cool. Pumpkin tree, that's cute. Ooh, the that's cute. I really like the Slytherin Garden one here. That's very nice. What's your favorite house? I can't decide to. The, I like that. Uh, that one. The pumpkin house or the scrum one? What the heck was that? Oh, I haven't seen this. Yeah, I Oh, I like the little witch cars. That's cute. Six. Man, that's a good 
look at this ride. How much you gotta pay for this one one ride for six tickets? Oh, that's a lot of detail that goes into that. It's like the graveyard is cool. I like the graveyard. So the annoying popping sound you keep hearing in the background is from the uh, magic shop. And oh my God, it was so loud. If it hadn't have been so loud, that probably been, would have been the piece we would have chosen. I loved this so much. And the Phantom Castle was my husband's favorite. He really likes this one, but too many moving parts, I think. Lots of spooky balls and decor. They were still stocking everything. Like I said, I was pleasantly surprised to see all of this right now. I had been seeing some of the Michael stores around the country were putting out products. So this was fun. A very fun day trip for my very ADHD grandchildren. Hmm, I wonder where they get that from. <laughs> I do love how Michael's really comes through for the spooky community. So here are my top three. The La Max Fright Night Cinema was Chef's Kiss. I loved everything about this piece. Such a good piece. My second was the La Max Creepy Pumpkin Patch. Just screams Halloween. This is one of their facades, which I really like those a lot. You can hang those on the wall too. And this is the Slytherin Gardens. I had said the wrong thing on the other one. I didn't see this one. I saw it online. Love this one so much. I bought this one for sure. The graveyard is wonderful because it's all one contained piece which i really like after struggling with all these tiny little tombstones last year and then of course i got a, a witchy cottage i love their little witch cottages they're my favorite i like to do a little just a whole scene of the witch cottage and of course last but not least the phantom castle was an impressive beast of a piece had a lot of moving parts not my favorite but my husband loved this one we both just thought foreseeable future there would be problems with this because it has a conveyor belt that's rubber it's a lot of moving parts mm, we didn't choose that but i got him this as a consolation prize <laughs> all right guys it was so hot i am ready to get in our pool my husband is working on putting a little above ground pool up in the back for us for summer ween we are done with our halloween decor hunting so far i'm going to hold off and wait until later in the season just to see if there's, you know, some more things that get put out later. But other than that, I'm looking forward to spooky season. I know you are too. My next video, we're going to be unboxing all of those Lamax spooky down pieces that we bought. I'm super excited about them. I think they did a great job this year with those pieces. So hope everyone's staying cool and you're happy and fun wherever you are. I love you all so, so much. Thanks for keeping up with me and I'll see you next time. Uh, uh.